How's it going guys, Nick here again from Techno Jedi's. Today we're going to be checking out the Nexus 7, I know it's an old one, the 2012 version, but we've installed Cyanogen Mod 11 on it by Talapia. Um, we rooted it recently, we will do a video on how to root and install it. We use the side loading method if you are wondering. It's definitely worth changing this thing over to Cyanogen Mod, I found it was getting a little bit laggy. It did have the lollipop update. But I just I didn't even go there because I knew there was going to be a little bit of lag on the tablet. So there is still a little bit of lag. Um, I think the tablet itself is just getting a little bit old. But um, it really is, this is pretty clean. Like we literally um, put the new ROM on it super recently, two days ago. So we haven't really done that much with it. Obviously installed Google Keep immediately and the Evernote widget. That's a, a, a widget you definitely want to check out. And obviously Wanderlist and Google Chrome as well. Normally Google Chrome would come on the operating system, but um, with the Cyanogen mod, obviously it takes a lot of the bloatware off. So it has its own stuff, like there's, a, there's an Apollo sound, an Apollo music player over there, some other things around here, but this is literally everything that's on the tablet. So it's not really got a lot of stuff on it, but it's cut everything off that you didn't need so that it'd be able to run as quick as possible. I'll show you some of the things that are different about the Cyanogen mod versus the um, stock the stock um, operating system. So obviously you can do that, that's the same. You can choose between home launches. The lock screen is pretty cool, you can change. This is actually quite a nice feature. So screen security you can change and I'm going to blow your mind now. So there's the screen lock, you can put it onto like a pattern. You can make it a beast. So let's do this now. So that is the pattern. And let's just retry it to make it something easier. Okay, let's continue over there. Good luck, I think that's just going to blow people's minds. So, as soon as you want to get back into it, it's got a little thing over there. One of the things that's quite nice about Cyanogen Mod, I know it's just like a little flashy thing, but when you switch the screen off, it's like one of those old TVs. Um, it's really nice over there. So, that's a custom thing that you can do. And the settings as well, over here. I'm going to show you there's, there's different themes. I've tried to play around with them. Some of the themes you just need to experiment with. You have to pay with a lot of the, you have to pay for a lot of the really cool ones. And you can change the boot animations as well. It's not stuff that you really have to do, but it's stuff that you can just play around with if you want to. And then you can change things on the status bar, like you can change the clock style. You can make it in the center if you want. Um, you can change the battery thing, so it's like icon, or you can put like text. There's just a lot of different stuff that you can play around with. I like the circle one. Um, you can do that. You, oh, this is also pretty cool. You can double tap to sleep, which you can't do on stock. And then let's go into notification drawer as well. So it's got pretty much all the same stuff. You can close after the last removable application. So let's go into, let's see what happens when you closes immediately. So I don't know if you can do that in Lollipop. You might be able to, but I just thought that was quite nice. And then there's also something else I just want to show you over here. So you could also have a quick access ribbon so that when you go down there, instead of having it over there, you can just do it on this side and it'll have all your notifications there and then all of these as well. Um, you can make the size, you can make it like nice and narrow. Um, yeah, you can do all of that kind of thing. Just to show you the version that we're running at the moment is it's running 4.4.4 .4 and it's the Tilapia snapshot, so it's a stable version. I'd, I went across to the Sunjin 12 also by Tilapia, but it's, it was just a little bit dodgy, like there wasn't there was some stuff that it just hadn't worked through. So I reverted back to Sunjin 11. And yeah, look, I mean that's that's it for the tablet. The tablet itself still is going like a beast. And it's really nice to read stuff. I find it really cool to type blogging things up in Evernote. It's, for me, it's just really like a diary. It's got my calendar, my Evernote, and my Google Keep and Wonderlist. And with that, I'm good to go. So yeah, that's that's it. You can buy all the tablets. I, I suggest if you are gonna if you're looking for a cheaper tablet, buy one and then flash a new ROM onto it. So put Cyanogen Mod onto it, and then you can kind of check it out from there. So that's basically it. This tablet is still epic. Um, Sanjin Mod definitely recommend it. We will put a video up soon. Um, until then, cool, it's been real, guys. Cheers.